Hello and, and welcome to the Supersize Phys Ed podcast. I'm your host, Dave Carney, and welcome again. I teach kindergarten through fifth grade in Fort Myers, Florida, PE, and I love it. Large groups, but it's it's fun. I get to know all the kids, and it's a great, great time. Best job I ever had. So hopefully that's the case for you. Welcome. As I said, I appreciate you listening in, downloading the episodes Always a good thing, always helping out, so please do that. Let's push the profession forward and keep moving. So today, let's talk about education and if it matters for the teaching profession, especially PE. Does it matter if you got a degree in physical education or not? Does it matter if you went to a huge school, a big school, an Ivy League school, I don't know, and got your master's in kinesiology? Does it matter? Um, Well, I'm here to uh, debate that, so here we go. All right, everybody, so let me give you a quick rundown of my journey. My, a quick, very quick. So in elementary school, middle school, I was all A's and B's. High school, B's, I guess. There were some really hard courses for me. I was not very good in science, things like that. So um, I did okay. You know, I went to a a good school. I don't, you know, it's not a renowned, you know, college. It's it's a good school where I used to live near Buffalo. And, um, you know, I got, uh, my grade point average was like 2.85 or something. It wasn't like a 4.0, which I'm kind of embarrassed to say, but you know, I remember this one time I got, I'm not kidding you, I put a lot of work into this um, this paper. I did like a 10-page paper on, um, I had, we had to pick like a government agency. And I'm not kidding you, I got, and I spent a lot of time on it, but it was a, it was a huge, I think it was like the IRS, so it was a lot to cover. And I got an E on the, on the paper, like I don't even know what an E is. It's, I guess it's worse than an F, I don't know, it's not excellent, I know that. It was something really bad, and I debated that with the professor and it, didn't go well and I don't know so <clears throat> I um, <laughs> it brought my grade point average down pretty good there but I'm like I should have just did nothing if I did nothing I probably, probably could have gotten E on that um, so <laughs> I'm still mad about that can you tell that was um, you know I had a good I had a good college four years though I, I enjoyed it there but when I was student teaching I almost got kicked out because my first student assignment, student teaching assignment, um, myself and the uh, the teacher didn't, I don't know if we didn't get along or just, you know, I, I didn't, I wasn't smart at this stuff. Like I, I was book smart. I, you know, I, I didn't know how to teach at that point. And I don't feel like he really prepared me and he didn't, he just kind of threw me to the wolves and, and then said, said I wasn't doing a good job. Whereas I really need more help. You know, I, I just feel like he could have helped me more. And so he told my my superintendent or my, or my supervisor that, you know, I wasn't ready to go on. I mean, he, luckily I got another chance at two more assignments and I did really well. And the teachers worked really well with me and, and I, you know, I got better. I uh, I almost quit. I mean, he almost kicked me out and then I almost quit. And I heard the Rocky music and, you know, I decided to keep going with it. And I'm glad I did because I became a pretty good teacher. I, re- I really did. It took a while, and even my first couple of years, I'm not going to say I was this phenomenal, you know, teacher. That you, you know, I'm not uh, Mr. Holland, Mr. Holland's opus kind of thing. I'm not, I wasn't like that. So it took a while, all right? So, you know, I don't feel like high school or college really prepared me for student teaching. And, I, and there's a lot of, you know, I, I see student teachers come in here all the time now and to my school, and they're really good, a lot of them. I'm really, really good, and I, that was not me. So I think it depends on your, your experience. Now, as far as PE, I got back into, actually, I got out of teaching for seven years. And then my wife and I, we were newlyweds. We moved to North Carolina and I got a teaching job. I was teaching uh, fourth and fifth grade, um, few, four years there. And then, and at the time I was a personal trainer at a, at a gym. I ran kids fitness camps with a friend of mine. So I was in that kind of business of kids fitness uh, working with clients at the gym learning more about just fitness and so I had the like the on the job training the on the job learning the experience you know I took classes or I actually took um, 
I studied for my personal training, my personal trainer exam, and I, I passed it. And you know, so it's, it's you know, I got a few clients. It, it kind of steamrolled from there in a good way. And you know, again, I got that experience, and that didn't come from education. I'm not knocking education. I just I don't feel like I got the most out of, out of education. And you know, even when I be, I got a job teaching here. My principal asked me if I wanted to be the PE teacher because he knew I did kids fitness and he knew I was a personal trainer and the PE teacher quit over the summer. I was supposed to be the third grade teacher here and he asked me to, if you wanted to do the PE, <laughs> be the PE teacher and I'm like, yep. It took me about two seconds to say yes. So I had to take a test and, you know, I've, ever since then I've been learning and trying to get better and I'll never forget this lady at one of the first meetings I went to, a district meeting and I think I'm trying to think of what the exact question was, but we were kind of it was just like a big group talking about, you know, what are some of the struggles in PE in our district? What are some of the you know good stuff, whatever bad stuff? I don't know. But I remember her saying that there's not a lot it's like some teachers are not they're not really even PE teachers here. And and the guy's like, well, what do you mean? And she, she's like, well, a lot of these people just took tests and, you know, whatever. They're not re they didn't get an education kind of thing. And that really, really made me mad. And I didn't say anything. Um, I should have, but I didn't. And but it's been, you know, getting me focused. Things like that. You know, my student teacher, or not? Sorry, my student teacher, teacher, my uh, <laughs> cooperating teacher, or whatever. You know, basically trying to kick me out or suggesting I shouldn't continue. These are the things that have fueled me. I'm not trying to say you should have a chip on your shoulder, but sometimes it helps because that allowed me to focus on my own learning and push myself with social media, watching webinars. By the way, I have a upcoming Chukball webinar coming up uh, with Connected PE, how I run my sport ed unit. Just a quick shameless plug there, but it's free. Um, you know, going on Twitter, being involved in Twitter and Voxer chats. You know, you take control of your learning. You have to do this I had to do this I had to learn on my own the on the job training was way better than anything I learned in school and again I'm not knocking school I want my kids to go to school too if that's what you know that's the profession they want they want to go to school and, and find a job that way that's awesome but is it for everybody I'm not sure is it you know is it the end all be all of your learning I definitely don't think so you have to keep going with the learning you have to keep at it every day all the time to get better for yourself and your PE program. So now it is time for your cowbell tip of the day. All right, so your tip of the day really is you're in charge of your PE program. Do you wanna be the teacher that just rolls the ball out and says go? Or do you wanna be the teacher that teaches? The teacher that asks good questions and gets the kids, kids really thinking and learning and becoming physically literate. That's what I want. I don't want to be that person that just says, hey, here you go. Go play. You know, I'll, I'll keep an eye on you. You know, I want to teach my students. I've always said it's easy to be a PE teacher. It's not easy to be a great PE teacher. It's very hard. It's, it's constantly learning, constantly pushing yourself, constantly doing the things after school, you know, on social media, like I said, all these things just to push your profession forward, push our profession forward, push your program forward and do the best job you can. So that is your cowbell tip of the day. All right, thank you everybody for tuning in. That was my little rant for the day, I guess. So remember, your education doesn't define you, I guess is what I'm trying to say. It doesn't define you. You may have gotten a 4.0 and maybe you're the greatest PE teacher ever, but maybe you're like me and you're not. I mean, <laughs> as far as getting a 4.0 and all that good stuff. So you take control of your own learning. You keep at it. Check out supersizephyzed.com if you haven't already for a free ebook and lots of free stuff there and resources. And try to, if you can, leave a little message, comment on uh, iTunes or wherever you listen to this podcast. Keep downloading them. It really helps. I appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Take care. Here's a beat for you.